Greetings everyone, I am Prince B. 2016 is an important year for a number of Nintendo franchises. Both Zelda and Metroid turn 30, and Mother 3 turns 10. Nintendo, please! And of course, Pokemon is turning 20. And today, a video detailing some of what we can expect for Pokemon's upcoming 20th anniversary was dropped. I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't checked it out yourself yet, but I want to give my personal thoughts on each of the things shown. Firstly, they've announced monthly event distributions for a number of mythical, event-only Pokemon. This is great for people who haven't had a chance to get them considering some of these were a one-and-done deal, and it's also good for newer players. Personally, I already have them all so I'm not too excited, but this is overall a really good thing. Next, they showed a new Nintendo 3DS bundle with both Pokemon Red and Blue games and matching faceplates. It looks like a pretty good bundle. The plates look cool, although if you're a Venusaur fan, you're out of luck. Personally, since Nintendo hasn't given me a reason to buy the new Nintendo 3DS beyond the Xenoblade port, I think at this point I'll probably just save my money for the NX. So while it's really cool if you're a real big fan of the original Pokemon games, or are in the market for a new Nintendo 3DS anyway, overall it's probably not worth it. Next they showed the Pokemon trading card game generation set. I guess these are reprints of the old cards? I don't really follow the TCG so I don't know a whole lot about these and if they will be legal for tournament play. If they aren't, I can't see a use for these beyond collectors, so it's just kind of whatever. They also announced remastered movies. This is actually pretty cool, and I know a lot of people have wanted the movies remastered for some time. My only complaint with this is it's only the first three. I stopped watching the movies after the 11th one, but overall this is still pretty cool. Next was various merchandise, starting with a red Nendoroid figure, with the fully evolved starters as well. This is actually really cool, and I'd love to get this. It's only available on PokemonCenter.com, which is a shame that I can't just walk into Target or GameStop and pick one up. But overall, it's a great thing to show. As for other merchandise, they showcased playing cards, lanyards, a cup, and a hat, all featuring the new 20th anniversary design. I can also imagine we'll see shirts and maybe some special plush toys. Personally, I think the design for the 20th anniversary is cool and looks great on all this merchandise. I could have told you with absolute certainty that we would be getting some special 20th anniversary merchandise, so it's not unexpected, but again, it does look really cool. Finally, for games, they showcased Pokemon Go and Pokémon Tournament. We already knew about both of those, so there's nothing really new there. No Pokémon Z announcement, unfortunately. Also, while it wasn't in the video, a site called Engadget.com, again, I'll put a link below, has said that four of the six Pokemon amiibo, Charizard, Jigglypuff, Lucario, and Greninja, are supposed to be restocked on the 27th of February. This is okay. Charizard and Jigglypuff have been decently hard to find for a while, and while Lucario and Greninja were just restocked in several places recently, their stock is probably starting to dwindle a bit too. Pikachu and Mewtwo are still fairly easy to find, so they don't really need restocks. Overall, this is okay. I think there are several other amiibo due for restocks before these guys, ones like Samus, King Dedede, Robin, and Lucina, that either haven't been restocked in a year, were restocked poorly, or had pitiful stock on release. But since this is more of a promotional thing than a regular restock, I can kind of get it. Pokemon Company still won't let you use your amiibo in Yoshi's Woolly World, but hey, at least you can finally get them. Overall, I'm rather underwhelmed. There's some really cool stuff here, like the Nendoroid and the new merchandise and the remastered movies, but when my friend told me there was a new video for the upcoming 20th anniversary and he was super excited about it, I figured it must be something big. In particular, a new Colosseum style game, at the very least Pokemon Z or X2 and Y2, or whatever it is they decide to do with Gen 6. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I hope they still have some more stuff that they're saving to announce. Anyway, thank you for watching, and let me know your thoughts. Are you excited, or were you too hoping for something more? This is Prince B, signing out.